Let me help you out. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Sweetheart. Yeah, hon. Later in the day, I'll be going to the market to get some food stuff and groceries. Okay. Things are really expensive in the market, like triple the price. <laughs> Honestly, the rate at which the economy is going down in this country is something else. And uh, I must say, the people surviving in this country, they are strong. That means I'm strong. Of course you are strong. <laughs> Anyways, um, I will send you some money for the market. Mm. And I will also send you money to, you know, get yourself some things. Oh, baby. Thank <laughs> you so much. Mm. I love you. I love you too, darling. Mm. Mm. So, um, where's Marcus? The school bus just picked him up. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, Let me get something. I'm coming. Okay. Um, hope you're fit soon. Oh, yeah. I will eat later. Do you care for No, I'm good. You sure? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please, I'm so sorry. Yes. It's ready. Once I get back to the office, I'll copy. I like it. Just give me a few hours, please. All right. Thank you. <sighs> okay, how far? My day, I'm okay. I'm you know you came to work late. Yes, I know. I slept late last night. Did she come around? Who? You know who I'm talking about, so say me who. Tom, stop now. So once I come late to work, I have, I have carried another woman. It's not like that now. <laughs> I didn't say it, eh? I said it. It's not like that. Okay. It was strictly work, bro. Mm -hmm. I had a lot to do, so it kept me busy all throughout the night. If you like, believe it. It's not like I'm trying to yeah. convince you. Please, 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 please. How is Sarah and Marcus? Man, they are wonderful. Mm. They are lovely. That's good. <laughs> At least. I'm happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Mm. This guy. I don't get it. Like, this country just keeps getting worse every day. And what is it again? I just saw that fuel price is about to go up. We are complaining that it has gone way higher than we wanted it to go. And it, it, they are planning to take it higher. I don't get it. And you're surprised. Mm. Surprised? No, I don't think I'm surprised. I think. What are you? I'm scared. <laughs> Nothing in this country surprises me anymore. I mean, what have we not seen? Thank what I what, what have they not done? Thank God to that. At least you're not surprised again. Then tell me, for how long? How long are we gonna continue like this? You see that question you asked. It's not meant for me to answer. I know, but sometimes I just think about all this. Can you believe I saw on the internet? The United Kingdom alone has given out to Nigerians over 500,000 visas. 500,000. And we're still in the middle of the year. And does that surprise you? 
true. If everyone has their way to leave this country, this country will be empty. I'm telling you, everybody. <laughs> huh? Uh, have you heard the latest? A dollar is now a thousand and three hundred. You don't have to tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm always taking on all this. I'm always, I'm always checking on. You know, once if it drops, I know. Uh, this stuff has just been jumping, jumping, going up, going up, going up. That's it, no? That's how it should be. That's the country. That's, that, no, 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 no. You shouldn't say that. That's not how it should be. That's not how it should be. Okay. Well, you know, it's, you, these things don't bother you like it does to me. I think about these things and sometimes I'm just like, uh, 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 I wish I could just... See, 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 see. Don't allow this kind of things bother you. I'm trying. Mm, it shouldn't bother you. Uh, you were working on an app. What about it? Yeah, it's been crazy, bro, but... But... I'm still on it, though. Trust me, I'll, I'll get it done. I'll get it done for you. Call um, me. Ah, just... Do your stuff. <laughs> do your stuff. Mm. Time up. Go to your office. What? I said go to your office. Please, not your office. Go to your office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're asking me out of your office. I didn't ask you. I said go to your office. You you, to I don't like the way you're saying that. Guys, I said go to your office. It's all please. right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me out of your office. I will, I will, of course, go to my office. Okay, Welcome. all right, all right. to get some for you on your birthday. Baby, Come I love you. <laughs> Calm down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> baby, I love you. Now that's the expression I want. Thank you. I love you. Baby, mwah. That's so. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, keep up, bro. Ah, I'm not giving up. Ha, let's see. You man, be. Get out of here, bro. Oh, Get man. Get the fuck out of here. Woo! Woo! Ah. That was it, bro. That was a good one. Yay! Yeah. Uh, that reminds me, have you seen David? Same Dave. Yeah, from Tennis Scott, have you seen him? Which is David now? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> Bruv. Oh. <laughs> David is not in the country. Which David? The David, you know. He left the day after we saw him. With David on Jackman. He's gone. I'm telling you. Wait. This thing that <coughs> you just wake up today and you hear that someone you you chilled with yesterday has traveled. Yeah. But why being secretive? I know you can do that to your family village people, but not to your friends. No, I wouldn't blame them, bro. I mean, the fear of the village people is the beginning of wisdom. I think you should join me. Why you talk? You need it. Sign it. <laughs> <laughs> you need it, come on. Anyway, the fear of village people, but we're not village people now. No, I'm not saying we are, but. Are you, are you sure it's not fear of you? I wouldn't. I'm not saying it's the talk. Now you ah. Go down, bro. Go down. Go, man. Do it. Yeah. See your face. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
see, babes, leaving your marriage because your spouse cheated on you is like refusing to travel because accidents occurs on the road. Men are inevitable. Show me a man that doesn't cheat and I'll show you a pregnant virgin. My sisters, it rains everywhere. So... So my husband just gave me an STI that almost took my life. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to cheat, at least have the decency to protect your family. The annoying part is that Raymond is not remorseful about this thing. He says in my face that men are polygamous in nature. And then every time I try to talk to him about it, he gets angry. My babes, I can't continue with this thing. No. Have you asked him? Yeah. He doesn't even seem bothered about the whole situation. Babes, no marriage is perfect. This type of imperfection, really? A cheating husband? Me, I don't see anything with um, cheating. So you want to leave your husband because of cheating? Sylvia, what exactly is your point? So you would advise her to stick to her marriage, risking her own life? Sarah, the, the devil you know is better. So are you trying to tell me that if you were to be in her, in her shoes, you want to divorce your husband because of cheating? Cheating? Huh. Point of correction, my husband would never cheat on me. Sorry, I have to take this, my husband. Hi, baby. Hmm. How are you? I'm at Sylvia's. <laughs> Does my husband want me to come back? Why? Oh, I miss you too. You're so nutty. I will be there as soon as possible, ASAP. All right, baby. I love you right back. All right. No. I go love you. I go love you. Stop it Please, already. Stop pressing our neck. Oh. Uh -uh. It's a married woman. <laughs> okay, let's see the the babes. My advice for you is calm. Calm down. Calms, okay? Just take a chill pill. Everything is going to be fine. Yeah. But wait, oh Sarah. Today that you decided to come and visit me, your husband is already calling you on the phone. I'm missing you, I'm missing you, I'm missing you. But you've been with him since morning. Hmm? I can't. Just oh my time God. you need to spend with me now. Leave my you? friend alone. Oh. No. God, am I a spoon? Am I a spoon? <laughs> my own? I don't get my Babe, own. calm down. Oh. Ah, you know this man, you know how it is. Oh. You know how this thing called love can be. Come on, go. <laughs> Come on, go. <laughs> okay, I need to go. I need to go, girls. Okay, I had a nice time. Oh hmm? God, am I a spoon? You're yeah, not a spoon. spoon. You're not a spoon. No. <laughs> Babe, you'll be fine, right? Don't worry. Okay. I'll take care of her. All right. <laughs> Bye, ladies. All right. Bye. Bye. My regards to Marcus. Okay. You, it's okay. Calm down now. Hmm? Calm down. Well, Sarah is one of the luckiest women I know, Sha. She has an amazing career, a peaceful home. She just has her life all figured out. Yeah. Sarah is very lucky. She's a very lucky girl. God, when oh, I wish. <laughs> Babe. Yeah, my love. Jane is considering divorce. And why is that? Infidelity. Honestly, the rate at which couples fall out of love is alarming. I know there are times that they used to be in love. So what happened? Sure. There were times they were all in love. 
Oh my sweetheart. Mm. Not a drink paracetamol on top person headache, okay? I just feel for Jane. It's alright. Babe, I do not want to ever fall out of love with you. <laughs> you know that's not possible. Mm? You see us. Mm -hmm. We are a match made in heaven. Amen. Mm. Inseparable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she says amen. Amen. I love you. I love you too. I love you. Ah, David, you no know, try at all. You no know, try. It's all right. So, which country? UK, right? And what is wrong with UK? <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> well, um, it's all right, I understand. So, which country are you in? Ah, Canada. How? Canada, my guy. He agreed you. <laughs> good one, good one, good one. So, um, how is Canada today? Abby, you're actually right. But you know I'm not a fan. Ah, uh, uh, okay. It's a normal thing now. You guys are always busy. No problem. Let me leave you to go. And I will call you back to discuss the best route, eh? No, oh, I should be the one saying thank you, yeah? Don't worry. Have a nice day, yeah? Bye. Ha! Ah. Dave, Dave. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Mado. Patrick, I told you to go to the office and do the stuff. I'm taking my wife out today. There's nothing that will make me not yes. go there. It's not possible now. Just help me do this, please. Oh, yeah, I planned this amazing... I have this wonderful place to take her to. Go and marry, yeah? Um, Patrick, I will call you back. 
Mm. Come here, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> you like it? I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patrick, mm. you see my wife, she is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Ah, the best thing. Now we did that one. I know now. <laughs> but just uh, enjoy your stuff. Patrick. Yes. When will you marry? <sighs> Bro, I've said this before now. I'm not ready. Once I'm ready, I'll get married. At this age. Nah. Wait, at this age, you're not ready to marry? Yes. So at what age will you marry? Bro, leave this topic now. This marriage matter, they know they come late. And they determine any time you get married, that is the right time for you. And that is the best time for you. So for me, I'm not ready. Please, <laughs> you're not just ready. allow me. You're not ready. Allow me. Allow me to enjoy my bachelorhood in peace. Please. And what else are you still enjoying? Ha! That has no, 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 no. What the list still enjoying? The list long! <laughs> <laughs> you need deliverance. You need deliverance. See this guy. Did I force you to marry? Why are you trying to drag me into it? You know you're no longer a bachelor. I don't know. I'm not a bachelor, so what am I? Are you my, are you my wife? Huh? Oh, but if I'm not a bachelor, what am I? You are an old unmarried <laughs> <laughs> you need to see your face, bro. <laughs> Something is wrong with you. Please just leave me alone, for real. Just let me be. But I'm serious. You need to. You need to really. Okay, thank you. I've heard you. What else can you do? I've heard you now. I've heard you. Anyway, the other side. I spoke to Dave today. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He told me. I spoke to him recently. Yeah. I'm telling you, ah, bro. The way these guys think this Jackpa, 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 leave Nigeria, come to this country, you'll be doing every day he sings it to my ear. So he does say to you. I'm telling you. Sometimes I just get out of his discussion because everything is you should leave Nigeria. How he's doing this one, doing that. Ah, ah now. Well, um, ah. I'm starting to consider relocating though. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. What? What? I'm not a fan. <laughs> Oh, it's not you again. Yeah, I know I said it. But I just said I'm starting to reconsider traveling. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll call him. Let's have a discussion and he'll tell me the best route for now. Ha! You're looking serious. Oh my God. What, what happened? What did you do? He caught me going through his phone. Oh my goodness. <sighs> That's the problem. Hmm? What other validation do you need? You already know who your husband is, so why going through his phone? It's not enough reason for him to hit her. I'm not saying it's, en it's enough reason, but I did mean she didn't go to his phone. She won't look like this now. Enough, enough, please. What are you going to do? <sighs> it's... He just slapped me. It's not like he's something serious. So you don't need to go to the hospital then? No. Sorry. It's the first time since we got married. Aww. It's okay. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know what to do. It's okay. It's okay. But next time, don't go through his phone again, no. Don't go through his phone. It's okay now. You're not helping matters here. <sighs> Just saying. Sorry, love. It's okay. All right? So, um, what other possible routes do you have?
Okay, so um, roughly how much are we talking about here? Did you say 30,000 Canadian dollars? That's approximately 30 million now. Oh man, that's a whole lot of money. It's all right, um, I'll have to call you back, so we'll talk about it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll tell him. So, bye for now, okay? Who was that? That was Dave. Dave? Mm -hmm. What are you guys talking about? Well, um, we're talking about Jackba. You're thinking of leaving this country? Uh-huh. Without me. <laughs> so wait, if someone told you I would leave this country without you, you would believe it. Baby, we are like snail and a shell. Mm. We are going nowhere without each other. I was just joking. I know you were. <laughs> <laughs> so are you considering relocating? Um... Well, there's a whole lot involved in it. Um, mm. I also wanted to discuss it with you. So, what do you think? Hmm. What do I think? Mm -hmm. So like this now, you're planning to relocate with your wife together at the same time? Uh-huh. <laughs> Was I meant to travel without her? You know that's not possible. <laughs> okay. But, you know, moving with her, moving with your family to a strange land at the same time. All right. Left for me, I would suggest that you go first, study the environment, you know, make provisions for her then you can send for her to come or she goes there make provisions for you to come moving over to a strange land with your family comes with a whole lot of risks and uncertainties well huh? um there's no way i will travel without my wife because i cannot survive see patrick i have been living with my wife for the past eight years and the highest i have stayed away from her that's two weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't survive without her, and I'm sure she cannot survive without me. Oxygen. And you see that risks and uh, uncertainties you talked about? Mm -hmm. When we reach there, we'll cross that bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. For better, for worse, have we forgotten? <laughs> I don't even know exactly, but I don't know if I should say this is all about the love, but it's all good. So, in the nutshell, so we are planning to just live only me in this country. No huh? be one day. Bachelor. No be only you one day back. But I did not tell you guys to leave now. Well, it's not even like I'm too certain that I'm traveling. You know, I still have some financial problems to sort to. I'm looking at 30 million naira. 30 million. <laughs> it's much, bro. Oh, 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 but I don't get it. Where would they see this money? This is money. And then we keep saying there's hunger in the land. We do, and people, people are living every day. Where would they see money? You know, there's <laughs> this um, ideology I have about people who travel abroad. And most people don't subscribe to that ideology. Ah, if most people don't subscribe, me myself, no need, I will not subscribe. Obviously. Oh. And do you know anything? How will you subscribe? Just say it. Let me hear. But I will not subscribe. Let me just tell you ahead of time. Well, um, if you can afford to relocate, you will never fall. Hmm. Are you serious? Seriously. Check it out. If you can afford to relocate, you will never fall. But then, I hope you know a whole lot of people are on Jabalos. 
and that Japa loan won't you be credit worthy before you collect a loan? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not credit worthy and you want to collect loan, you have to know a rich person. So you were never poor. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> I think this your journey stuff, this your movement is reactivating your distance. <laughs> <laughs> senseless, calling me senseless. Yeah. I love Ramon Cha. <laughs> we know. So? Um, he's apologizing. He's asking to come back and I want to give him a second chance at training. Is that really what you want? Yes. Me, hey, I already told you. Cheating is not enough ground for you to divorce your husband. As much as I do not support the divorce thing, divorce plan, why do you keep mentioning cheating is not... Uh, 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 why do you keep saying that? I mean, it, to me, it feels like you are glorifying infidelity in marriage. Is that what you think? It is what it sounds like. Okay, if you say so. But to me, it's not. You've not met those men that used to punch their wives, give them blow. You see them ordinary cheating, just cheating because he cheated on you. You want to divorce him. When they give you blow for house, <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to say cheating is nothing. Now, wow. Now, really, wow. Hmm. <laughs> Do we this? I mean, I don't know how you're only so. Don't worry, I go soon find my own man. I go see. Man, we go they punch you. No, 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 it never reached like that. Mm. Go never. punch you, cause to cheat on you. No, 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 it never reached like that. My darling, do what your heart wants. Okay? <sighs> Babe, 30 million naira is a lot of money. How do we raise it? Uh, I don't know for now, but um, I believe I can raise it. At least I could sell a few things get alone but just know that i can do it what if i ask my mother to help us uh, 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 i don't think that is a good idea for now i mean she could she could help us yeah i i know she could help us but sweetheart i I don't think it's the best time to let anyone know about our traveling plan. I believe when the travel plan is mature enough, then we can open up and tell everyone. Hmm? Maybe I could terminate my investment and forward them to you. You see why I love you so much. Thank you, baby. I think it's up approximately six million. Ah. Oh. You see why I love you? Because of money? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, love you. Love you too. Can I sleep <sighs> now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Come in. Mom, <laughs> you're welcome. Hello. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Hello, my boy. <laughs> how are you? Fine. And how is Daddy? Daddy is fine. Mm, thank you. Okay. Go upstairs. Okay. Go upstairs. I'll see you later. <laughs> hmm. Mom, you don't want us to go? Okay. No, this place is fine now. Let's just. Uh... So, how are you? Mom, I'm fine. Oh. Uh, and how are you and how is business? My dear, I'm fine and business is doing well. I was actually going to call you, but I decided to come. What about? <clears throat> I actually need loan for a business. So I was hoping you would help me talk to your husband. You know he has always been my go-to person. Mm -hmm. Mama, you know my husband has always been coming through for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the problem now is he wouldn't be able to. 
Mm. Right now is not a good time. In fact, he needs <laughs> he needs help. If there's a way you can help us, we don't mind. Honestly. Why? Is he building a house? Not really. Okay. Is he planning to jackpot? <laughs> Mama, he has a lot of projects at hand. Well, if he's building a house, that is a very good thing. Or, or planning to jackpot. After all, this country is getting worse by the I day. Hmm? Well, don't worry. You'll get to find out soon. Hmm. It's okay. I'm ah, sorry. I really need that money. Oh. Ah, this one time will not kill. Mm, of course it won't. <laughs> I'll find another way out, uh, you know. I'll find a way to I know this one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um how about the IELTS exams? You know so I know to study English. You know? Uh, this one not by Jenny Smatao. I'm not too savvy English, but it's, it's it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, my brother. Ah, ah, that would be the best thing you can actually do. Please send it. That will not be a problem. Just <laughs> let let's start first, huh? God bless you, bro. God bless. You. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Tom, what? What's going on? You sounded desperately. Man, I I need money. I need all the money I can get. Mm. Oh. This money. Money, money. Japa, Japa. I know, I know you need money. <sighs> no, really, but okay. How about your car? I've, hmm? I've, I've really considered selling it. Well, you know, I still have a long way to go. And um, someone told me about a microfinance bank. Okay. But you will not believe their interest rate. What percentage? 35 per annum. Ah. Uh. Oh gosh, that's 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 too high. Come on, it's too high. It's a lot. I don't, I don't have any other choice. I, I think I should just go with it. No, 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 bro. No, 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 no. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. We, have, we actually we definitely have to get another way. We need another way, huh? Do you have any? We can just. We need to think. Get five percent of millions of naira is a whole lot of money, bro. Come on, huh? Oh man. Or 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 okay. you can just stay back with me and then you don't have to worry about anything. Stay back in the country. <laughs> it's an option for real. Who is who is laughing at you? Go back to your office. And come back. <laughs> And to be frank, I have my own personal reasons why I'm not married yet. I mean, for real, Nigerian women would just stain your white. So what do you want me to do? Well, I don't know. I mean, I cannot be advising a married man while I'm single myself. I mean, I mean what experiences do I have? <laughs> is, that, no, is that what you always tell me? And this is the best time to tell me that. Well. Just, just drive, it's okay, just drive. Come on, don't be like that. You have to be a married man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, for real, for real, I, I didn't mean to laugh, but you have to be a married man, for real. I don't blame you. 
You don't. You I, can't, I don't blame you. You can't blame it's, me. It's, it's my fault. You chose to marry. I chose to tell you. Yes, you have to. You don't. Yeah, have just to drive. I beg, beg. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Me. So Sarah, you now keep records? Huh? Mm -mm. I'm just saying, you've not touched me and I miss you so much. So wait, 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 wait. Sarah. I know some couples who they have been far apart from each other because of this same Japan problem. But just two weeks. Two months and you're already acting like this. Babe, listen, I know the stress of this um, traveling, the finance, everything is troubling you. But babe, we have blood running in our veins and we're together. Eh? So, so, so wait, 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 wait. For adventure, this uh, visa doesn't work for both of us to travel. That means I can't trust you. You can't, your blood will not flow again. I don't, I'm not complaining, babe. You're already complaining. It's two months. You're already complaining. Babe, what's the problem? Have a good night. And don't touch me. Stop this joke now, babe. Stop. Stop this joke. Stop it. <laughs> You know, Raymond started like this. And then before you know it, it just degenerated into something else. <sighs> Some was never like this. <sighs> well, this should not be happening now. When were you guys are planning to travel? What do you think? You think my husband is cheating on me? How do you expect me to know that for God's sake? Then you girls should give me something to work with. Should I confront him? No, don't do that. It's not necessary. To me, I feel maybe your husband is just overwhelmed by this whole travel thing. Overwhelmed? I am overwhelmed as well. I mean, it's unfair. I understand, but just maybe give it time. <sighs> God. Siva, why are you not saying anything? <sighs> what do you expect me to say? It's surprising that someone could be behaving this way. My point exactly. Because I have asked myself several questions. What led to this? I, I still can't find the answers. <sighs> I guess you can find the answer. I just can't. I think he doesn't have reasons for all this. My darling, every action is a reaction to something. Every action is a reaction to something. Just calm down. Please, calm down. Oga. The car is, uh, is in order. Every single thing intact. Huh? As a uh, me itself, I don't check the car. I don't see, see everything there. Have you? You don't like No, no, no. They can't go away. They buy a body. So, offer. You know, say, uh, the team is that amount where they come. You know, you know, go well at all. Uh, uh, you know, say, I sabi say you want to sell and quickly, but that amount where they call. Me, you reason I'm. Okay, which amount where they call one? 
Eh? Yeah, see the car. Just look, look the car when they see the car. Ah, me, no be today. I begin the bike car now. Now nah, because say you sabi, you sabi say I want sell and sharp sharp. Now why they do this thing? Why they do? No, they do. I'm no, they do. I'm like say, ha, you want to use the money, do everything where you. I beg, just try calm down for them. I want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just I beg, if you feel come or something. Uh, like no, 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 Allah, no, Allah, no, Allah. So because just. Add five hundred thousand. Make make no, make no, 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 you like the car? Hey, hey, come down. Okay, no, my own. But then, do you think this is this is fair? Huh? And who cares? Hmm? Trust me, bro. This is actually why I say that. You know. Both marriage and love, they are all overrated. Seriously speaking. I'm telling you. <laughs> Can you just... Hold on. Ah, take a look. Sarah. I'm telling you. Why is she calling you? She's still calling. Why would I know? Should I take it? Of course, pick it. And put it on the hospital. Sure. Put it on the hospital, pick it. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Sarah. <coughs> How are you? Is it a good time to speak with you? Yes. Please go on. What is it? I hope you're not with Tom. No, no. I'm actually in my office. What's going on? There's a question I want to ask you and I want an honest answer. Okay. I know you're very close to Tom, and there is hardly anything he does that you don't know about. Yes, that's true. Please, I want you to tell me the truth. Is my husband seeing someone? Is Tom seeing another lady outside? Does he have a mistress? <clears throat> um, Sarah, why, why did you ask? It is important I ask. Please, is there another woman outside? Um, Sarah, um, can we can we talk? Like, can we have um, can we schedule and have a meeting? We can talk about this, okay? I just want a yes or a no answer. Let's just meet and talk about it. Is there another woman outside? Let's just talk, okay? Can you hear me? Sarah? Yeah, she, she ended the call. Why would she think I'm seeing someone else? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What is it? Mm -mm? That's not the question. And what's the question? The right question is, why would your wife be suspecting your cheating? Bro, look at me. Please, look me in my eyes. And tell me, are you cheating on your wife? You. Look at me. No, well, look, look, look. Do I in any way look like you? What? Hmm? Do you see yourself through me? Stupid question. I imagine. I am not married. Oh. Yes! I am not! And, what are you are? And that justifies you doing the stupid things you keep doing. Huh? See, get to one woman. Focus on her. Put all your attention on her. Be faithful. This your thing. Put it only for her. Jolly woman that deserves my faithfulness is my wife. Oh yes, and currently I don't have one. But if eventually I get married, yes. And trust me, once I get my wife, I will not cheat on her. So tell me, uh... seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't support that. Seriously speaking, are you cheating? Do you 
See, see, no, 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 don't, don't ask me that stupid question again. Don't ask me that stupid question. Tell me. Just, just. Listen, it's not about you frowning your face. Just tell me. I need to know. Seriously, I need to know. If you're doing something, tell me. What is wrong with you? Now, what is wrong with you? Who, 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 what's this? Please stop. What? Why would she think I'm cheating on her? Seriously, you don't want to answer that question. You should tell me. Women ju don't just make such as accusations. What did you do? Why wouldn't I think you're cheating? Sarah, we have been married for the past how many years now? Eight years? Why would this thought come into your head? How did we even get here? That question is directed to you. That exact question is directed to you. We've been married for eight years. Eight years? You haven't been like this. All of a sudden, you change. So, so tell me. So everything's about sex, yeah? It's about everything. No, no, no. You're making it obvious. It's about sex. Tom, it's about everything. It's about you. You no longer care anymore. You no longer love me the way you used to. You no longer the man I married. I thought it was, a, it was the whole jackpot thing, but I don't understand anymore. So I put it to you that you are cheating on me. You know what? I don't have time for all this nonsense. I'm upstairs. Exactly. Keep running. Keep walking away. Keep walking. That's what you're good at. It's up. Like it? Mommy is the best cook, right? <laughs> right? Good boy. Um, Sarah. Yeah. Did you deep fry this or did you air fry it? Deep fry. Hey, God. Sarah, what is your problem? How many times are we going to have this conversation? This one time won't kill No, 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 no. This one time is what will kill me. It is what will kill me. I have told you, I want to watch the oil intake in my body. But you want to kill me. Eh? You want to kill me, right? Fine. Let me go in there and uh, fry another protein. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I will sit here and wait for you to air fry it. Eh? I don't blame you. Eat. Hmm? Finish everything. I'll go outside and handle myself. Which restaurant? I mean, how many restaurants out there have fried their proteins? You see this thing you're doing? You see this thing you're doing? You better say what is eating you. Say what is eating your mind. You see this thing you're looking for? You will find it too. Sense. No, Mom. Sarah, how are you? Yes, everything is okay. Yes, um, I'm actually driving. Yeah, we can talk. He's the reason I am calling. What's happening? Uh, 
How about him actually? How is he doing? Is everything okay? You're the closest person to Patrick after me. But now, it looks like you have taken that position from me. Um, I'm so sorry, but why would you say that? Because we are no longer close. See, Patrick, I know I have called you, but I really want you to be honest with me. What conversations have you been having lately, you and Tom? Where have you guys been going to lately? <sighs> Well, to me, we just, there's no new place. Just the regular places that we used to go, the tennis club, then the gym, and no more hangout. There's no new place, actually. Have you been meeting new people? Did he tell you anything about me? Did he say there's something I did to him that hurts him? No. Well, he did not tell me anything. And to the best of my knowledge, there's... He's just, he's just himself to me. Hmm? There is something about Tom lately that I really cannot understand. Listen, Sarah, you have to calm down, okay? I've said this before. Tom is not cheating on you. Okay? He's not. He's your friend. And I am sure you are going to be on his side, not mine. If you knew that I was going to support him, then why did you call? I know he's my friend, but the truth is, he's not cheating on you. And then, why would Tom all of a sudden just start cheating on you now that you guys are planning to relocate together? Oh, he told you about the travel plans? Yes, of course. There's nothing he does that I, I do not know. Exactly my point. It might not be cheating, but there is something about my husband lately that I cannot explain. Listen, Sarah, please, just give him time. He could just be, okay. Listen, have you not heard about the Japa syndrome or Japa fever? Just give this man time. You know, he's possessing a lot. Just give him time, okay? Please. Wait, his friend says it's because he wants to travel and that's why. He says it's Jackpa fever. <laughs> Jackpa fever? What's that? Do I know? I, like, I have never heard of such in my entire life. Never. See, that's a lie. He's just trying to cover up for his friend. I know sometimes there's always anxiety when you're planning for something, maybe traveling and the rest, but that's not a reason for Tom's irrational behavior. Like... See, you guys need to talk because I don't think he's cheating. My, my fear now is the little boy, um, Marcos. Marcos. Yeah, Marcos. See you guys doing all this. Eh? That's my fear too. And he has actually experienced us quarreling, arguing and all sorts. Oh my God. And do you know what I tell him? Jack Bafiva. <laughs> I didn't exactly call it that name, but I just had to tell him that, you know, that is um, under so much pressure, work and everything, and we want to travel, so a lot of things. Oh. I just had to just cook up something and tell him. My God, pity the poor boy. It's crazy. You guys just need to take it easy. He needs to take it easy. Father Lord, you have been a pillar for this home from the very first day and this home is on the verge of falling. Please hold on to us. I am scared of what would happen when we finally get to Canada. My home is the most important thing to me, more than any other thing. Dear Lord, I want our visas to be denied. Let us stay in Nigeria and continue the way we used to be. Please, Lord, let our visas be denied.
Hi there. Why are you not picking my calls? I was pre um I just came out from the kitchen. Okay. Um looks like your prayers have been answered. Our visa has been approved. Hello? H hello? Hello? Oh yes, congratulations too. Thank you. I'm already on my way. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. God, why did you let this happen? Patrick, my guy. Canadian. <laughs> you know, you don't get a Canadian boy now. Was, uh, this is Canadian man. Now loneliness will kill you for this country. Me? Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> With all the babes who in Nigeria. And the money day. What you say? Do you know say the money day? Loneliness no feel kill me. Patrick, who do you this thing? You know this for my dictionary, like, bro. Like, who do you this thing? Why are you concerned about it? Now my concern. Go to your Canada. Leave me alone. She ain't not save the resources. What would they say no today? It would be enough for me and for my. For your. Own. <laughs> you don't even get shit. <laughs> this is my problem with you guys, though. Eh? Ha, ah, man. If you want to go, go. Leave me alone. It's very simple. I won't carry you before. Who won't carry you? Like, how will I take you to Canada? May you call the duty someone? If you Canada. carry me. On there. I beg you don't Ooh. you don't you don't call Dave. Ah, but I don't call Dave. He was the first person I told. Ah. And he was super excited. Uh-huh. He should be now. <laughs> he should be. At least it, at least he achieved one thing. Uh, he also asked me to drag you along with me. Drag me. <laughs> when I know be tiger generator. Be tiger no, you people will put me inside bag. If possible. That's the only way. Don't do you. When you people put me inside bar, and if you're, if you're putting me inside that bar, make sure you put something extra. Then you can. That's the only way you can carry me to Canada. But if it's with this my sense. No, Nigeria. With, so with, with, with this your you put, With this your sense? Yes, no. So for your mind, you get sense? Over sense. Uh. <laughs> That's the only time I will follow you guys and go to leave this country. Wow. <laughs> oh, but you need, really need to leave, bro. I hear you. You really uh -huh. need to leave. He get one of my babes safe. You know I have these babes everywhere. So he get one where I get now for the way we say uh, she's into all this uh, decluttering. I know you like you when I go like decutter, be. You know say I know I know just I know just understand how me and you take the friends or no, how we. No, honestly, I just serious. No be joke. Okay. If you know what I'm doing, I know what. Take your corner, what's in the shop? You the old person. What's in concern you? Take your corner, what's your if problem? If I the old person, you go pay for me. If I the old person, you go pay for me. It's not like I cannot pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> like you will not pay for me. It's not like I cannot pay for you. Look, look pay, pay, pay as Association of Nigeria. Ha. <laughs> your wife. Huh? Ignore it. As you wish, or as you command. Is it as you wish, or is it as you command? No, no, just go.
I'm back. Hmm. How would you leave all those things open here? You're sleeping. Welcome. Thank you. Um. Uh, I've been calling you. I mean, you didn't pick your calls at some point. The phone was saying unavailable. Sarah, what is your problem? You called me ten times. Yes, I saw ten missed calls. Didn't that tell you that I am busy? Busy. Uh huh. Busy at nine p.m. I don't understand. When you called me, I mean, I, I, I was, I was happy. I had to prepare these things in, in celebration of our win. And I've been calling you like I said. I waited, and you're telling me you're busy. Busy doing what? I said I was busy. You don't need to know what made me busy. <sighs> That's fine. Um, I prepared something for us to eat. Well, I'm okay. You can't be okay. <laughs> I said I'm fine. You can't be fine. I prepared. You ate out. <laughs> hey, it's a simple problem. I said I am fine. Do you want to force it through my throat? Rubbish. And what is the problem now? What is the problem? You are the problem. Oh, really? You are the problem. So, because I ate out, now it's a problem. Huh? No. Everything is the problem. Everything is the problem. You come back late, you eat out. I don't understand what is going on. You know, I am not answerable to you. You know that, no, right? No, you are answerable to me because I am your wife. I am your legally married wife. So, you have to damn answer my question. What are you doing? Huh? Marcus, calm down. Calm down. I said you should calm down. Calm down. What is what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I might not, I might not want you to just climb here. What's wrong with you? The, the next time you climb here, I, I'm going to beat you. Come here. Don't disobey your mommy again, okay? Have you done your assignments? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay? Sorry. Go upstairs. Go and have your bath, alright? Thank you, my darling. Good afternoon, my boy. How are you? Grandma, are you following us to Canada too? Uh, yes, Canada. I will follow you to Canada, okay? <laughs> Mom, Marcus, go play with your friends outside, okay? Don't cross the gate, too. Sarah, are you planning to travel? Huh. Hmm. 
So you and your husband are planning to travel to Canada and I'm not even aware of it. I'm sorry, Mom. What are you sorry for? For not telling you. <laughs> the truth is, I was... I was planning to tell you before the visa approval last week. I mean, that's the reason I called, right? You are planning to tell me. Sarah, the other day I asked you jokingly and you said no. Mom, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's like how? You and your husband have been processing your papers to relocate to Canada. And I don't know anything about it. What do you guys take me for? A witch? No, mom. No, have I been a bad mother? <sighs> Sarah. Mom. Are you okay? I'm not okay. It's my husband. Your husband? What yes. What about him? He has changed. I mean, he's not a, he's not the man I married. How do you mean? I don't know. I can't place my hands on it. He's just behaving awkward, weird, but different. Have you guys sat to talk about it? That's the problem. He doesn't want to talk about it. Sarah! Ma? He just went off. <sighs> Mom, I'm sorry. Tom was the... Tom said we shouldn't tell anyone about the travel. Hey. I'm sorry. Anyone, including your own mother. Eh? So if his mother were to be alive, will you do that to her? We're sorry. <sighs> it's okay. So, how far with the plans? Have you gotten everything you need? Sarah, you know you can tell me anything. I'm your mother. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. It's okay. Well, I wish you guys all the best. Hello, Mom. Mom, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate. Yes, thank you. I saw it. I've sent it to him already. God bless you. Mommy, 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 don't worry. I'm sure he's going to call to say thank you. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> um, Sarah. I got an alert of two million naira from you. Yes. Where did you get it? And what is it for? My mom sent it as her support for the traveling. Hey! Sarah, you told your mom about it! What, what's wrong with you? I warned you not to tell any single soul about this traveling until we're close to traveling! Well, you told Patrick about it. Is it? This is just my problem with you. This little request, just this small request, comply to it. It's hard for you. Sarah, don't tell anybody we are about to travel. My mother is not a witch. And who called her a witch? Your countenance, your reaction shows it. For crying out loud, this woman sold one of her piece of land. For crying out loud. I mean, you and I know that we do not have that kind of money. Okay, where do you expect us to get it? I would have raised it. Somewhere, somehow, I will raise it. Taking a loan and pay later? Tom, it is a gift from my mother. And this is the part where you pick up your damn phone and say thank you to her. And for whoever told her it was Marcus that told my mother about the travel. See the way you are shouting. You are shouting at me because you gave me common two million naira. Yes! 
That is why you're shouting. You and your mom combined and gave me two million naira, so I will not rest. No problem. Well, tell her wow. I say thank you. Come on to me. Mm -hmm. Tom. Tom. What? Since it is common to me, why don't you refund? Thank you, refund. Ah, guy, this is your wife, Mama, and a better person. <laughs> ah, ah. You can't say that again. Just like that. She is wonderful, just like that. <laughs> you know the worst part? I did not expect. Why would you? I mean, why would you be expecting something? At like least that? now, now, <laughs> one problem is out of the. I'm way. telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> but I still need money, though. I still need more money. I like how much now? I know you need money, but like how much? I mean, uh, I still need like four million now. Eh? Four million, but your your mother-in-law just gave you two million, which means you're just looking for two. Uh -uh. I'm the one who says how much I need. I need six million, so she gave me two, so I need four more. Guy, <laughs> the guy money we when they used to do this jackba. The kind money when they used to do this jackba. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, to be frank, uh -huh. if some of you that are actually jackba, if you have sense, and you invest that kind of money you guys are using to jackba in this country, you can actually make it. So Seriously can, speaking. You indirectly said, if I have sense. I said people that jackba. And I'm, I'm not people, I, I, I don't you, want to You're jackba. not completely into it yet, you're still here making plans. But check, I, check, I, I check I this out. Uh, the, the, you can make that money back. How much are you talking about? 40 million. Bro, you 40 million in Nigeria. You've spent, you're going to spend nothing less than 40. Uh -huh, what is it in Nigeria? Is what do you money? mean? Is it money? 40 million is money now. What are you talking about? 40 million is, is huge. If 40 million is huge, trust me, over there, you'll make it in. It's not true. That's not what I was told. Bro, you're going to work. Bro, you're going to work and save. Let, let me go down. You're going to work like let's, you don't even have let, time for let yourself. Let me go there and work. Be deceiving yourself that you just go into into you, you walk one day. Let's, and you make... change, let's change topic. You no, know, once I don't enter your car like this, your mouth goes around. You know what is 40 million? Okay, let's okay, let's change topic. But damn, okay, okay. No, keep talking, keep talking. <laughs> what, bro? Okay. Oh. I, wish you, I, I really, I really wish you the best. Oh, I actually yeah, want you to I make need, that money. I need, I need you know, million. let me leave this country, bro. No, you are, you get your problem. You get your.
Hello? Ah, uh, baby, I, I couldn't prepare anything. Please, mm -hmm. can you get um, can you get us something to eat? Cause I'm really tired. Yes, like buy food when you're coming. What's the meaning of this? You have the strength to go outside and eat, but you don't have the strength to go into the kitchen and prepare food. Let it make sense to me because I don't understand. Babe, why are you shouting? Are we quarreling? Oh. I only asked you that you should... Okay, I had a very long day. I took Marcos to my mother, cleaned the house, did the laundry, made sure everywhere is clean as you can see, huh? and I'm tired. You want to get food outside? Knowing fully well that we are in a condition that we need to minimize every expenses. <sighs> okay, I'll pay for it. Oh, you still have money. You still have money to pay for it. Babe, what, what's the pr problem here? Babe, every single penny you have, you should give it to me so I will invest in the traveling plan. Babe, what are you talking about? Food money? 20, 10,000 is okay. What, what would that do? It will do a lot. It will do a whole lot in this traveling plan. <sighs> Babe, okay. Let me get you something to eat. Let me prepare something for you. Who eat it? Me. Oh, you ate out. Question. Sweetheart. Hello, baby. Hi, sunshine. Hi, baby. What are you doing? I'm trying to make beans. Okay, but don't do anything. Why? I will get food for us. Do you want pizza or burger or... <laughs> I want burger, 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 baby. What about Marcus? I'm sure Marcus would love burger as well. Okay, so I should drop the cooking. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, love. I love you. All right. Hmm. What you're looking for, I will not give it to you. Your wife said that to you? She said that and she even said more. But why? I don't know why. I don't know why she would call me a coward to my face. I... Come on. But why would, why would she say that? Huh? How would I know? Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you're a coward. Wait, 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 wait. You heard me. Are you stupid? No. Are you okay? Wait, did you just call me a coward? Relax. Okay? My father always told me that men are action takers. Okay? I gave you a perfect solution to this. Tell your wife you're going to test the water. If it is conducive, you come and bring her in. But what did you tell me? The lover boy. The only man that has a wife. I have never been away from my wife for more than two weeks. Now look at this. Huh? So what you want me to do is, I should wake up one morning and tell my wife that I don't want to travel with her. Huh? That's what will make me a man. 
No, that's not what I'm saying. I am just no, telling you. No, that's what you're saying. No, listen. I'm just telling you what you should have done differently. All right? But anyways, it is what it is. And then, uh, be it as it may, I, I'm, I'm actually happy for you. You know, this should be the last week you are. You, you're going to be around. <laughs> so? Say it. I... Come on, say it. Open your mouth. <laughs> it's just small. I'll just miss you small. It's not like it's not like it's not like I'll miss you for it. It's just small like this. Yeah, I know. I you know, understand? I know. If you like, go there and don't be serious. That money you spent, you don't make it all. You better work. You think I'm? Uh, you know I'll make it. You say you miss me. <laughs> don't worry, it's not like you, you better do. I'll keep in touch. I'll still drag you to Canada. No, no, for leave me. I don't know. But why are you just telling me this now? I wanted to tell you. I honestly wanted to tell you, but I wanted to be sure what was going on. Not until I found a video. A video he made of me spanking my own son. <sighs> when are you guys leaving? next month but we haven't gotten our ticket yet do you want me to talk to him I honestly appreciate it yes okay I will give him a call I mean you guys are going to a new environment this shouldn't be happening now tomorrow is Saturday right yeah okay I will call him to let him know that I'll be here. Thank you. And you stop worrying. I am worried. Don't worry. I am worried. Everything I... will be fine. Okay. I am worried. Like, what's going on? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Hello, Ma. Good afternoon, ma. Um, is there any problem? Okay. Okay. And you, you, you're sure there's no problem, ma? Okay, ma. I will do as you said. Thank you too. Have a nice day. Yes, Mama. You know, there's an adage that says an elder cannot be in the house, and a goat will give birth with a rope tied to its neck. That is why I'm here. I've noticed that there's, there's this friction in the relationship you have with your wife, my daughter. I'm here to find out what exactly is going on. Please. Mama, she knows what the problem is. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I what, don't... what do you mean you don't understand? You know, do you, uh, 
Mama, she knows what I'm talking about. I should be the one asking you that. Mama, you just woke up one morning and started acting weird. I mean, lately he's, it's been some, it's been somehow to the extent that he he made a video of when I was spanking our son. Now the question is, why would you do that? So you even went through my phone. You, you went through my phone. Take take it that easy, my son. Take it easy, okay? No problem, Mama. Well, since you're pretending like you don't know what you did, I had everything you said that night. Every single thing you said that night, I had it. Left to me, if I travel abroad, listen eh, I will divorce my husband. I will file for a divorce immediately. Yes! I heard every single thing you told her through the phone. Mama, she was planning to file for divorce when we get to Canada. Yes! I am sure she knows the power that governments give women over there. That is why she wanted to take leverage over it. Mama, when I heard about it, I thought of the best thing to do. <laughs> I thought of cancelling the whole travel plan. But I had already quit my job. There was no place to fall back to. So, Sarah, Ma, why didn't you tell me this part of the story? It's not what you think. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Your husband has just said his own side of the story. You go ahead and defend it. <sighs> okay. Tom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama. I was on a phone call with Jane, my friend. Are you serious? I see. Left to me if I travel abroad. Listen, eh? I will divorce my husband. I will file for a divorce immediately. I mean, what better revenge is is is, is better to revenge that way now? Is the in fact is the best revenge. I will divorce him immediately. What are you saying? Can you imagine? He couldn't even find out what the conversation was all about. Mm -hmm. And he just judged me. Like Tom, Tom, did you ask your wife questions? No, 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 no Mama. Habba, communication is power in a relationship. Hmm? Maybe I'm sorry. Ah. I, uh, I, 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 I don't know what got over me. I am so sorry, Mimi. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to explain this. And as for the video you saw, it was for me to have an evidence in case you want to have custody over my son. Please. Sorry. Look at how deep yeah. he went. You should have asked me. You should have asked me. Yes, yes, my daughter. You should have. But please, just forgive him. It's one of those things, eh? Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm? I don't know what's called it for me. I, I, I just I just started overreacting. It's okay. You know how it's much okay. I love you.